Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, Yorkshire Crafter. My name is Julie and today is Sunday, so it is my catch-up day, my whip and chat. So I'm going to share with you guys what I have been up to. But first of all, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the project that I am working on. So this is called Autumn Favourites by Shannon Christine Designs. There's a few of us um, stitching this pattern, this design. So I'm absolutely loving stitching on it. So let's get into this week. So Monday morning I was stitching on caterpillar cross stitch while I was sorting out some washing and getting that done and then for my lunch I had a cheese sandwich so after lunch I carried on a little bit more with caterpillar cross stitch and got the washing dried that I had washed in the morning so I got on with all of that and then it was pet feeding time and went and walked Ted and then for tea we had chicken and vegetable pie with potato poppers and gravy and that was really really nice I enjoyed that so after tea, when I came up here, I did a little bit of stitching on the coffee sampler that me and Danielle are doing, Down South Stitcher. So I was putting a few stitches into that before I had to get ready for the live stream for the Disney doll house and this week we did issue 35 and it was some of the basement pieces so it's the front for the bay window the uh, supporting walls for the bay window and then a couple of the outer walls with what with like a um, thin wood outer uh, brick effect so we had to put two supporting walls in and then three of the decorative outside pieces so yeah we did that for issue 35 and then afterwards we had a bit of a chit chat and then i went off to bed so that was monday so then into tuesday so tuesday morning i was stitching some more on the caterpillar cross stitch um, and then I was folding and sorting the washing from the previous day and just getting some last bits and pieces finished off and dried then in the afternoon I stitched a little bit more I was doing some more of the caterpillar cross stitch so I was doing that then fed the pets walked Ted um, and then I was trying to decide what to have for my tea because um, we had loads of like 
chicken uh, bits in the freezer so I had to decide what I wanted for my tea because Mark and the boys were having bangers and mash and gravy so I um, decided to have a fish pie uh, I've forgotten the brand of it I've forgotten the brand name but yeah it was a a fish pie in one of those trays you'd whack it in the oven for about 40 minutes so yeah Mark and the boys had bangers and mash and I had a fish pie so yeah I had that for my tea and then in the evening uh, well after tea when I came up here I um, was working on the Christmas sampler piece by Doreen Jones so I was stitching a little bit on that before I went into StreamYard so I was helping Crafty Chris with her Eddie Stovart and then after that was Geordie Dave and Dano with their Titanic and if you guys saw I was in there I was on the live stream um, Mark had already asked me earlier that day if I could go in and help because of his sore mouth if I could go in and do the chat so he was doing the instructions so he asked if I'd come in and uh, do the chat for them which I was more than happy to do I'm always happy to help anybody with a live show so yeah I was in the Titanic live as well um, they've asked me to come back for the next issue but that's not going to be for another week now um, because they're both working both Jordi Dave and Dano are working uh, Tuesday next week so it will be the week after that when I join them again so yeah I really uh, really enjoyed going in and doing the chat for them really enjoyed myself so then after both those shows we uh, all sat and had a bit of a chat and then I headed off to bed let's turn the page whoops sorry for my arm just turning the page just so I can see my notes and what I've been up to so Wednesday Wednesday we were back at the dentist so got up had a coffee and when I'd come round a bit I made Mark his coffee and went to wake him um, we had an appointment I think it was about half past eleven so we needed to leave here at half past nine because where we're located now is quite a few bus journeys away to where we used to live because the dentist that we're registered with is back in the village where we used to live and I've tried changing dentists and trying to register one with here we're over here but nobody is taking new patients um, so 
yeah they're uh, obviously still wanting to keep a dentist and things like that so yeah if we need to go to the dentist we've got to travel as we are now finding out so um we got the bus the half past nine bus or rather the 25 past nine bus um and then we got to the surgery at about 20 past 11 and the appointment was at half past so we got in there got checked in got sat and settled in the waiting room and then the dental nurse came out for us to go and see the dentist um so what time did we finish in the dentist i'd say maybe half past 12 quarter to one maybe i think it was about an hour appointment something like that um because they were in some uh, few last bits sorted they needed to have a really good clean and one of the teeth that they thought they was going to be pulling out they um think they might be able to save Plus, it will help when he gets his uh, denture, so one of the teeth for it to uh, hook to or sit next to. Um, well, not to hook to, because it's a. But yeah, we'll just see when the when he gets his final denture. But. Um, so yeah we uh, got back over here I think about two o'clock um, we needed to get a few bits from the supermarket we also needed to go to the bank um so yeah we went and did that first we went to the bank and then um we're just sort of wan wandering back to the main road where asda is and my husband walked straight into the works um so <laughs> yeah that's uh he doesn't normally do that he has to be coaxed or i'll say you know can we go and have a look now this time he he just wandered in there and yeah um, I can't remember if you guys have seen that video yet or not but yeah he uh, he gifted me some things in the works don't think I've released that video yet no i don't think i have so i won't say what it is but yeah he gifted me some things from the works so when we've done that then we headed to the asda we went to the supermarket and while we were in there the next issue of the world of cross stitching was in there so you know I, d I did say to him you know obviously i've just got that uh, that last issue um it must have been like the last day before it got returned or whatever happens to them um i did say to him you know i'll i'll wait till you know shopping day next week or whatever we whenever we uh, next come into town i'll I'll pick it up then but uh he was like no no we'll, we'll get it now we'll get it now for you so yeah we did that <coughs> excuse me so yeah he got me the next issue of the world of cross stitching and we're just sort of wandering wandering around and 
getting some bits and pieces that we need have milk and bread and fresh bits and salad for the guinea pigs and rabbits and us for sandwiches and and stuff like that so um, when we'd done that we got a taxi home I think we got home at around three o'clock so um, Oliver had our youngest had already fed the pets and walked Ted so that was already done and dealt with Um, so I was putting the shopping away and um, I went and had a quick bath before tea so I went and did that and then after my bath we had tea which was hot dogs um, we thought we had some hot dog buns at home but we didn't um, and in the past I had seen that Jack would chop up hot dogs into noodles you know the packet noodles the supermarket ones that you just do in the microwave I'd seen that he chops up hot dogs and puts them in with noodles so I decided that I wanted to give that a go some people might think that's a weird combination but I wanted to give it a go um, you know a couple of hot dogs would have been you know enough for a meal in in some bread and whatever but I uh, I decided I didn't want bread but I quite fancied some noodles so Jack did that for me made that for my tea and it was pretty good um, yeah it was uh, it was pretty nice yeah it was okay a weird combination some might think but it tasted good it tasted nice so yeah not too bad um, but yeah yeah it was it was a nice tea so then after that when I came upstairs I had a couple of recordings to do um, obviously what I'd got from the works and then I wanted to record the magazine as well but then I'd also had another couple of deliveries of product reviews so I'd had I think uh, one day saving had um, had come in that had been uh, delivered so yeah one day saving so I needed to record that and get that up on the channel well needed to at least record it and put links and things in and then you know when there was a a free day or a space um so with my channel i don't like to put more than one thing out in a day um you know do your own some people do two three four videos a day um but me personally i don't like to put more than one video out on my uh, on my channel a day or if i've got a, a live stream i won't put a video out i'll schedule it for the next day or something like that um but yeah i just wanted to make sure i had them all recorded even if they were just private on my channel waiting to be released or scheduled to be released 
So, yeah, I did that. And then, what did I do then? Uh, I was working on the uh, Christmas sampler while I was watching Dano's Universe. He was catching up with his Eddie. Yes, he was... Uh, catching up with his Eddie Stobart build. He was doing a couple of issues in his live show. So I was watching that while I was stitching. Um, but yeah, everything with the dentist went fine. Um, he did have to be numbed up because the tooth that they wanted to try and save um needed a good clean out and a filling putting in it and yeah his his whole mouth overall just needed a good clean but that area where they wanted to try and fill the tooth and save it they really had to give it a good clean so they said oh yeah we, re we recommend that we uh numb the area so we can clean it and get into the tooth and and things like that but um within half an hour of leaving the dentist the anesthetic had worn off so yeah he's uh he's panicking a little bit that he's becoming immune or his body's getting used to the anesthetic and it's not having the same effect as it once did but that just could be because he's <coughs> For the past three four weeks now we've been back to the dentist every week so like three or four wednesdays in a row we've uh, been to the dentist so it could just be that um but in a couple of weeks we've got to go back well he's got to go back um to get his den temporary dentures so um yeah he's having uh, some temporary dentures and then i think the dentist said in the new year he'll get his permanent ones um because they said they need to leave it at least three months for his um mouth to heal to for his for the swelling in his gums to go down and his whole mouth just to go back to normal so then he can have his proper dentures so yeah the the ones that he'll have for life as the as the yeah um but yeah overall the dentist went well and yeah got home and got all that sorted and so yeah overall yeah he was he was okay and glad that he didn't have to have another tooth out so then on to Thursday. So Thursday we were out again. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I got up Thursday morning, uh, did the same again. So I've had a coffee, came round and then uh, woke Mark up, gave him his coffee and sorted all that out and just had a bit of a a bit of a chill morning and yeah before we had to go out again um so mark rung for a taxi at about half past 12 excuse me he phoned for a taxi about half past 12 because he was having his covid booster at one o'clock and it was at the supermarket our asda has got a little pharmacy so yeah they were um doing uh covid booster vaccines just in the in the little um like examination room that they have at the side so yeah at one o'clock he had his covid booster um oh no i've uh I got my days mixed up so Wednesday 
yeah we uh we didn't end up going round because i went to the dentist and being numb and things it was thursday where we had to go to the bank and wander around town so yeah i got my days mixed up so yeah thursday after he'd had his covid booster he said right yeah i need to go put some money in the bank so we went round to the bank and that's when we popped in to the works or rather should i say mark popped into the works and yeah treated me to a couple of things but like i said you guys won't have seen that video yet that will be on the channel next week is it tuesday or wednesday either one of those days tuesday or wednesday next week but you'll see what i got gifted uh from the works and then we went we went and got bits from the asda and then about two o'clock we got a taxi home um but yeah like i said um again our youngest was just sorting out the pets as we got in so i was putting the shopping away and everything like that and oliver took ted out for his walk and got that done out of the way so then for tea we had bacon butties so nice bacon sandwiches for tea so yeah we had that for our tea and then when i came up here i had a couple of recordings to do so again that was you know the works to sort out the magazine flip through to sort out and then i had had another package uh review uh and this one was everyday ideals so i had that to record so you guys yesterday will have seen the one day saving and the everyday ideals so you guys will have seen those yesterday so yeah you will have seen those videos um and then So after that, um, it was the crafting quiz live stream and we had Dave on with us, DS Models and Vintage. He came and did some anagrams for us. So we were all crafting away and Dave was challenging us and the viewers to solve anagrams so jumbled up letters and it was all dish related food uh, dishes related anagrams so we were doing that in the live stream and i decided to color this week so i was doing some I think it was halloween yes i was halloween coloring so i colored a page out of the jade summer halloween coloring book so i do sometimes still color just not as much as i used to so doing that and then we had a bit of a chat afterwards and then at about 10 o'clock UK time I was watching Shalene's floss tube live Shalene's creativity room I was watching her floss tube live stream 
and I decided to stay at the desk sometimes I'll go settle settle down in bed but yeah this time I decided to stay at the computer because I wanted to finish the diamond painting that I am gifting somebody for their birthday so yeah I managed to get that finished while I was uh, watching Shaleen so I've got that done and looked at all her beautiful projects and um, she was talking about some stitch alongs and events and things that are going to be happening next year um, and I still forgot to get the uh, stamped giraffe kit out I was going to show you guys I'll have to remember for floss tube next week to show you guys what that looks like but um, yeah definitely go check out uh, Shaleen's channel but yeah I'm happy I finished that diamond painting off I've got that done so then on to Friday Start this and I can turn the page. Oops. So, Friday, um, we had nowhere to go, nothing to go out for. I think, apart from maybe the shop to get some milk, or you know, if we needed a bit of something to last. Um, but yeah, so I was stitching on the caterpillar cross stitch, stitching to Christmas. So I was working on that, and then at about lunchtime, my husband got up and I went and did the bedding, uh, had a bath. Um, got down from my bath made myself a coffee and my husband said right I'm gonna uh, get in the bath if you want to uh, record your floss tube while you've got a bit of time excuse me so I recorded floss tube while he was in the bath so I did that um, got it edited and exporting from the editing program and went back downstairs and sorted out the pets um, Oliver went and walked Ted so then I got on with T so for tea we had steak, pie and potato poppers. So we had that for our tea. So yeah, really enjoyed that for tea. Then when I came up here, I was um, finishing sorting off, sh finished sorting floss tube. So I got it uploaded to YouTube and was sorting out the description box and thumbnail and and released it for you guys to see. Um, and then, <coughs> excuse me, so then I decided I wanted to work on this a little bit, uh, Autumn Favourites, so I was working on that a little bit, and I was watching some Floss Tube, 
um, and then a little bit later on I decided to put a film on so I was looking on Disney Plus and there was a couple of films that popped up um, the other one was a sequel to the first one and it's called Twitchers it's Twin Witches and it's like a a tween a tween movie um, it's the twin sisters Tia and Tamara uh, Maure they did the uh, TV show on Nickelodeon it was uh, sister sister so that was another like tween show when uh, when I was growing up but yeah I used to like watching uh, sister sister but yeah it had uh, those two in and yeah the, uh, the description thing on Disney Plus said um twin sisters discover each other again on their 21st birthday so yeah that was the beginning of the film they sort of bumped into each other and yeah reconnected and got to know each other again and and things like that so yeah, I watched the first one of that and that was really good. So then I decided to put the second one on Twitchers 2. T O O. Um, so yeah, I watched the uh, second one as well and that was really good. So yeah, like tween movies, really good discovering that uh, they had magical powers and yeah but yeah I went and watched that on uh, Disney Plus so they were really good it was a nice evening just chilled and crafted and yeah really chilled evening um, So then on to Saturday. So Saturday morning was cleaning. So I uh, cleaned the bathroom and got on with that. And then for lunch I had a cheese sandwich, a packet of Seabrook crisps and a wagon wheel biscuit. The biscuit with the marshmallow. Mm, yeah. Really nice. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I had that. So then in the afternoon, I didn't really do much. I just played on my phone um, until it was time to start out the pets. So I did that and then. I was getting on with tea. Um, we had soup for tea, some soup and nice bread. So I had that. I had chicken. Mark had oxtail, I think, and uh, Jack had tomato soup. Um, Oliver's uh, gone to sleep over at a friend's for the weekend, so yeah, he's not he's not been here. He left Saturday morning to go to his friend's, and yes, yeah, gone and slept over. So we'll uh, expect him back any time today. Being Sunday. Probably later on, maybe seven, eight. Just depends whether he's uh, having uh, 
tea over there, Sunday dinner over there, it just depends. Six, uh, currently 12 minutes past four now. So, yeah, I'll just see what time he gets home. But there's no rush. Um, they've been on uh, half term this week, so there's no um, homework or any rush or anything to get ready for uh, college. So, but yeah, that's all. On, that's all on him anyway. Right. So I have currently run out of the uh, thread that I had prepared. I had four. Uh, lengths out to stitch and I've stitched all four of those lengths so I'm going to move the camera a little bit like that so you guys can see and have a look at my stitching but I'm just going to finish off Saturday and then quickly do Sunday so after tea when we would had our soup um, I came up here and I was sorting out some of my special drills. Um, I have got a couple of ideas for some Christmas projects to show you guys. Um, some ideas for like little needle minders or um, sort of Christmas decoration things that you can make and hang on your tree. So yeah, I've got a few ideas floating around in my head. So I wanted to sort out my special drills because I've got some like little uh, wooden cutouts and um, quite a while ago now I won a 1000 subscriber giveaway from Cal's Crafts. Um, she was doing a giveaway for hitting a thousand subscriber milestone and yeah i happened to win it so she sent a box of goodies um she'd got her husband to carve or whittle some diamond painting pens uh, some wooden diamond painting pens but then she also sent a box of like wooden cutouts and different decorations and in this box was some wooden snowflakes um so i'm thinking um maybe do a video on decorating those or doing something with one of the wooden plaques that came um so, but yeah, like I said, I have got lots of ideas floating around in my head, and yeah, I promise, Cal, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna use them. I'm gonna, <laughs> <coughs> yes, I'm definitely going to use them. So I've got lots of ideas floating around in my head, and yeah, it's just um, getting round to uh, filming them and what to do with those um what what to do with the goodies so yes thank you very very much cal so i'm gonna uh, do something with those cut out snowflakes maybe make uh, needle minders cover minders you know for diamond paintings and so yeah so all that to say yes i spent saturday well some of saturday evening sorting out through my special drills so i was doing that and finding out sort of the bigger uh domed specials and things like that so then i was looking through discovery plus and I remember an old series that I used to watch called Faking It. It was um, like profilers and listeners and they look at police interview tapes 
um, you know, the CCTV and they um, sort of profile them, sort of look at their behaviour, whether they're lying or, you know, telling the truth or, you know, picking up on on certain things and um, I was actually looking because on there it came up that they'd done some specials but obviously I remember watching the old series so I wanted to check to see if I'd caught up with all of those and I hadn't I'd only gone up I'd only got up to season five and there was another season there was a season six so I sat and watched season six and there was about five episodes they're about some are 20 minutes some are 40 minutes it just sort of depends on you know who they're watching or who they're investigating and so yeah I got quite a few of those uh, episodes watched I think there were about six episodes but yeah some were only 20 minutes some were 40 minutes so I got through all of those uh, Saturday evening so I then looked on YouTube see what I had to get caught up in there um, so I watched um, a couple of floss tubes and and things like that so yeah I got all of that done and then yeah I was absolutely shattered so I went to bed so then I got up today so today being Sunday got up had my coffee I was giving their pets their breakfast I got washed up sorted uh, yeah got washed up sorted sorted uh, the surfaces and everything um, and then I folded a little bit of washing that had been in the dryer um, and then I think there was just a few towels left to put in the dryer so yeah I got all that folded and sorted so then I put the dryer on with the towels and decided to get the ironing done so I got all that done out of the way I think there was about six t-shirts and a couple of hoodies yes I iron my hoodies inside out like but yes I iron my hoodies um, so yeah I was getting all that done and then by the time I'd finished ironing the towels had done so I folded those and then I decided to come for my bath this was about 11 o'clock so I came up for my bath and then when I went back downstairs then I got Sunday dinner on um, in that time Mark had got up um, and yeah realized I'd already got Sunday dinner on he's like yeah great so yeah it's already done so just the pasta needs doing when it's bubbling when it's simmering in the slow cooker so got all that done did that um, then um, so yeah I was just um, playing on my phone and just doing bits and getting ready for Sunday dinner and things while Mark came up for his bath um, then when he came down for his bath then he put the pasta on so then about 20 minutes half an hour later we sat down for Sunday dinner so we had spaghetti bolognese that was lovely lovely and then we had rice pudding for dessert so then got washed up got sorted made a coffee um so mark said um you know you need to go up and do your uh whip and chat i said right are you are you coming up as well come and get your bits and bobs done in the bear cave he said well you go get yourself sorted and by the time you start recording I should have come upstairs so I don't know what he needed to get done or whether he just wanted to rest a bit yeah I think he was just resting a bit after Sunday dinner eating all that food um, so 
yeah so yeah while i've been recording i have heard him come upstairs um but yeah this is pretty much everything so we are all caught up so let me change camera so yeah there we go that is everything for this week guys um so yeah i don't think i've got anything else oh i have got another unboxing that i need to get done in the next couple of days it's another review package um i've seen quite a few other uk youtubers do unboxings and reviews for them it's the uh tote bags where is it uh fisk or fersk that the uh tote bag company anyway so they've uh they've sent me some products to review for them so i've got that to record and put up on the channel sometime very very soon so that's the only bit of news i have got um disney dollhouse tomorrow uh issue 36 it's more of the basement pieces so come and join us come and join me and crafty chris come and watch us build the disney dollhouse um so that is everything for today guys so i'm gonna let you guys go and enjoy the rest of your weekend and have a <coughs> excuse me and have a good week next week so remember guys in a world where you can be anything be kind. Bye guys.